Yes, I am pleased to be joined now by Astros General Manager Dana Brown, live from Minute Maid Park. Dana, thanks for taking the time to be with us here on High Heat. Let's talk about game one. Justin Verlander pitched beautifully for you guys. Just seems that Jordan Montgomery pitched a bit better. How do you guys get going here in game two? Yeah, game two, we need another good start. You know, we need to turn the bats around. The bats, we got to get a little, got to get a few uh, key hits, and um, I think that would be a difference maker. Uh, you know, we had Montgomery on the uh, on the ropes last night. We just didn't go with the knockout punch. We had bases loaded a few times, but at the end of the day, if we can get some timely hits today, we'll, we'll be back and uh, even this thing out. Dana, oftentimes it seems like the one and two hitter obviously sets the table and, and gets you guys going. Jose Altuve, Alex Bregman, but really this team has gone the way that Kyle Tucker has gone. How do we get his offense going? Yeah, uh, he just needs to have some quality at bats. Um, you know, he's been struggling a little bit. Uh, once we get him going, we know him being in the middle of the order, um, you know, we're going to score some runs. But uh, he's hit a cold spell, which, you know, it usually happens. Uh, just the, the, the timing of it is not great. But if we can get him back on track, uh, that, that means run production. I think oftentimes, Dana, the media makes more of things uh, than the team does. What do you make of the way that Houston, for whatever reason, hasn't played as well at home as they've had on the road? Obviously, game one a factor in that, too. Yeah, it's really difficult to understand because the fans, they, they show up. They pack it in here. Uh, over three million fans this year. Um, it's really um, it's, it's, it's a struggle for me to understand that, um, you know, why we're not playing that well at home. But. Uh, you know, we've played well in the postseason here, and so hopefully we could turn that around today. The postseason record has always been good here, so hopefully we can get it turned around. And you're looking to turn it around with Framber Valdez on the hill. Dana, how will you know when he's on? What do you need to see from him? Yeah, I need to see uh, weak contact, a lot of ground balls, a few strikeouts, and uh, some quick innings. That's when I know he's on point. <laughs> Prior to your general managership there with the Houston Astros, you were VP of scouting for these Atlanta Braves as I sit here in Truist Park right now. And you were here in 2021 when they won the World Series. What similarities, if any, Dana, do you take from that 21 championship team to perhaps what the Astros have going this year in 2023? Yeah, I think it's the offense and the bullpen. You know, the offense and the bullpen were both great. And so, you know, we had slug in 21. I mean, we could drive the ball with the best of them. I think this club can do the same thing all the way through the lineup. And the bullpen uh, back then was pretty good in Atlanta. I think the bullpen here is just as good. And so if we can get this offense going, I know we could shut down games at the back end and uh, we could turn it around. Yeah, you've mentioned the offense a couple of times. Jordan Alvarez is so dangerous at the plate. What do you think makes him so successful offensively, particularly in the postseason? It seems like he really shines in those moments. Yeah, at the end of the day, I think he has really good balance at the plate. He sees the ball well. And, of course, he's a danger to go big fly. And so that's always a threat. And so um, if he has these quality at bats that he's capable of having, he'll do damage, and I think he's got a few in him today, so I'm excited about it. Dana, you guys have a very veteran manager, a Hall of Fame manager, and Dusty Baker on the other side of the field. The same exact thing with Bruce Bochy. You look at these two teams up and down the lineups and the rosters, pretty comparable, honestly, in this Lone Star State series. What is the X factor for you for the Houston Astros? How did, how did, besides the offense that you mentioned, what pushes you guys over the edge? Uh, we're going to have to have quality starts. You know, we got we got a quality start yesterday. We didn't take advantage of it. I think uh, our offense is bound to break out at any time. Uh, you know, when we went to Texas earlier in the year, you know, we swept them and we really swung the bats well. And so if we get quality starts, I think our bats will be fine. I just need the quality starts from our guys. All right, so many storylines and connections between these two clubs, obviously even more than just the geography. Tell me about your special relationship with President of Baseball Ops over there and Chris Young. Uh, yeah, I signed him uh, back in the day when I was an area <laughs> scout. He was at uh, Princeton University. I was covering from Delaware to Maine. And, uh, you know, he was this uh, big, tall guy who released the ball way out front. He was 88 to 92, and he was – you know, threw a lot of strikes, and, uh, you know, I was very interested in him. 
And so not only did we draft him, I think when I went to the Expos, we traded for him. And then we ended up trading him to Texas. But, yeah, I, I, I've been after Chris Young, you know, for a long time. <laughs> so it's good. I, I saw him the other day. It's good to kind of connect with him again. And so, uh, you know, we, we got to get these guys, though. <laughs> Yeah, uh, now you guys trying to beat each other up. Finally, before I let you go, Dana, what's it been like just being around Dusty Baker on a day-in and day-out basis? Old-school manager, just love everything about him, a guy with a lot of swag, but obviously is headed to Cooperstown. Absolutely. Uh, wealth of knowledge, great stories, uh, very good relationship with the players. Um, Dusty's, uh, you know, he's a, he's a baseball lifer. And, um, you know, I've been able to learn a lot being around Dusty Baker. You know, not only, you know, just growing up as a fan, uh, watching baseball in the 70s and 80s, but this guy is outstanding. He's an outstanding baseball person, and he's a good human being as well. All right, well, let's get that a quality start that you're talking about, Dana, from Farmer Valdez. Hopefully your offense can pick things up and you guys can even up the series. We appreciate your time. I'd like to see that. <laughs>